What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? Trying to lockpick my own house cause I can't find my key. My little brother is the type of guy to crack open a Gatorade to quench his thirst. Browse around the store and then check out the empty Gatorade bottle at the end. Taking many napkins from a cafe, restaurant and pocketing them to use as tissues. Pro tip. Starbucks and Chipotle have the best ones. McDonald's can be rough on the nose. Going through a metal detector always gives me anxiety. Even though I usually have nothing to hide. Taking more than one free sample. Turning left from a one-way onto a one-way with a red light. Taking a free sample of food when walking past a food vendor. Obviously they're offering it for free and obviously there are no laws being broken. But I just cannot help but feel guilty so I stand there after eating said sample and pretend to deliberate if I plan to purchase a meal there or not before slowly walking away once I've lost the attention of the guy handing out the samples. Walking through nothing to declare at the airport and having a nagging concern that just maybe you managed to pack 5 kilos of cocaine, a handgun, several tons of pest infested fruit and 2,000 cigarettes over the tobacco limit. Going into a store to use the restroom without buying anything. Having something of yours in your pocket while in a store that also sells that thing. Filling out government forms. I answer honestly, but constantly feel like I'm going to misinterpret a question and somehow commit some manner of bureaucratic felony. Bringing home a newborn infant. Driving when near a cop. Cannibalism. If I am not mistaken. You are not. In the US you can consume someone's flesh as long as they consent. Joining a cult. Starting a cult. Stockpiling firearms as a cult. Reading most, all of a book in a bookstore and then putting it back on the shelf. When I owned a used bookstore I had several reading nooks with side tables, lamps, and big comfy chairs just for this. Having a tank as your personal vehicle. Just buy one with a credit card. Don't worry about paying it off. They won't go after someone with a tank. Nobody will. Ripping off a few bananas before you buy them from the grocery store if you don't want the whole bundle. Going into Costco, eating all the free samples, then walking out. Walk into an Ulta beauty store and spraying some expensive cologne from the tester bottle before going to your interview. Update. No I don't overdo it. I like light smells. Too heavy and I get a headache as well. Something that's fresh because I want to feel like a new car going into an interview or a date or wherever I have that's somewhat important or gives a good first impression. Calling a teacher by their first name. Like it's not illegal but it's illegal. Adjusting your penis when it gets scrunched up against your inner thigh, on an airplane. Driving 250 plus kilometer per hour on the German Autobahn. Especially when crossing the border from another country and you can drive so much faster that you're used to from the country you made holiday in. The autobahn is terrifying. I remember when my ex let me drive her car for a while. I pulled out to pass someone just as I noticed a BMW in the rear view mirror. By the time I'd pulled back over into the slow lane, it had already gone flying past me. Truly insane speed. It felt like I'd stumbled onto a Formula One track by accident. Marrying someone for their money. Then divorcing them and taking almost everything. I don't love you anymore give me half your stuff. This isn't my original idea but going through customs at the airport you always feel like you've done something wrong like what if I accidentally have a gun. Doing anything but in sight of a police car. Turning the light on inside the car when you're driving. I called my mom out when I realized recently, it's not illegal you lied to me. You know what this woman says. Are you sure? My mom always told me it was illegal. 53 years my mother believed her mother's lie and passed it on to her kids. 53 years. Connecting Lego flat pieces sideways. Walking out from a shop without buying anything. Drinking a beer on the street in New Orleans. Taking somebody else's full cart of food at the grocery store. You can literally take anything from anybody's cart before paying. Thanks for doing my shopping. Can you get your kids out please? The Yellowstone Zone of Death is the name given to the 50 square miles 129.50 square kilometers Idaho section of Yellowstone National Park in which, 
as a result of a loophole in the Constitution of the United States. A criminal could theoretically get away with any crime, up to and including murder, Wikipedia. It's the open PvP zone, nice. When someone orders a pizza for a group and you take the last slice. Buying alcohol for the first time when you turn 21. Having sex with animals legal in 11 states in the US. Using a VPN, maybe not illegal exactly but I definitely feel a little shady about it. Marrying your first cousin. Expressing my opinion on Reddit. Hiring a private investigator to stalk someone for you. Walking, driving around a legal recreation state fully aware of the weed I just bought, my dab pen, and a new bong in my backseat uncovered and perfectly safe from being arrested for any of those. Still can't get over it lol. Cannibalism is legal in the US. Provided you can find a legal way to get the meat. There was a guy who ate his own foot after having it amputated who did an armor a while back. Yeah, the rules I know about it are, 1. The one you're cannibalizing must consent. 2. The one you're cannibalizing must be alive at the time you draw the meat. 3. The one you're cannibalizing must not be killed by the process of removing the meat. So basically, an amputee whose leg just got cut off can consent to others eating it. Drinking Pepsi in a Coke glass. I don't give a damn. Pigeons on the street don't belong to anybody. You can just take them. Picks up a pigeon. Me whispers into its ear. I own you. Robin Hood infinite money glitch. Flying with a gun in your checked baggage. Walking around naked in Alabama. I shit you not it's actually legal. Telling the Walmart greeter no when he asks to see my receipt. Carrying an open container of liquor in some cities. We walked around New Orleans with an open bottle of rum because it was cheaper than buying shots. Taking your baby home from the hospital. Trying to shop at Ulta without a full face of makeup. I look presentable, but I still get followed and asked over and over again if I need help. Sometimes by the same employees. They actively watch you and make you feel as if they think you're a thief. I understand that it's part of their job to help and check on us. But that's not what's happening when the same employee in a management position follows you, and asks you for a third time within 10 minutes if you're finding everything okay. I'm clearly looking at the products. My hands are even held together behind my back because I always get that vibe when I go in. Leave me alone and please let me look for a skin cream. Existing within the presence of a cop. Calling a guy daddy when we do it. Calling my wife daddy when we do it. Calling my father daddy when we do it. Signing up for credit cards to get the sign up bonus and then cancelling 11 months later. I have reaped over $100,000 worth of flights and hotels since 2010 from points alone earned from sign up bonuses. I never pay money for my vacations except Ubers and food, drink, entertainment. And even entertainment is sometimes covered with chase points. I have turned my skeptical friends onto this. And the ones who took me up on it have traveled to Peru, Chile, Ireland, California, and tons of other places. For free. It doesn't hurt your credit. I'm 16. I live in the US. But both my parents are German and I go there a lot. Since the drinking age is 16 there, I can drink there. Being completely naked except still wearing shoes. Being glad your toddler went to her grandmother's house for the weekend. I always feel so guilty for enjoying the quiet. Cutting a pizza into a spiral. Driving to the shooting range with a trunk full of guns. Driving by a cop on the interstate while going the speed limit. Smoking weed is legal, but for some reason if I'm doing it and a cop walks by it still feels strange. Cheating on your S.O. Adultery is a UCMJ offense for those in the military. Taking a while inspecting and trying on some clothes and not buying anything in the end. Not tipping bad waiters. In Germany, walking into a whorehouse. From a country where they're illegal, I felt shady as hell going over to do. Checking the address, opening the door, going inside, and answering can I help you with I'd like to have sex please. In America, buying a gun and carrying a gun. I got a new gun over the weekend and my girlfriend had a minor freakout wondering how I did it. 
if it was registered, etc., until she remembered I've owned guns longer than I've known her. Buying kids underwear if you don't have a kid. Turning right on red. Turn left on red from a one-way to a one-way. Setting your company up in Bermuda so you don't have to pay tax. After making over 100 phone calls at my new job today I feel like contacting strangers to their personal phones to solicit business inquiries really shouldn't be allowed. We are practically harassing people with these phone calls that they never answer or requested. Business should really only be allowed to call customers at their request because I would hate to be on the receiving end. Trying to pay for something with large bills. Every time they bust out the pen to make sure I'm not some counterfeiting mastermind. It almost makes me want to bring my own pen to stand there and check the change they give me back. How Apple Inc. avoids paying US taxes by having an Irish subsidiary own all of its patents and declaring all profits as licensing fees for the patents, which all go to their Irish subsidiary, i.e., themselves, without paying US taxes. Going into a gas station just to use the bathroom. Accidentally injuring your dog in a minor way. Walking out of the library with books that aren't mine having paid zero dollars. Lobbying. An animal is still legal in four states. Those states are, Hawaii. Consuming any drug. Drug laws are written for possession. This reminds me of one time in high school. A couple friends and I were being shaken down for weed before legalization. We smoked so obviously smelled like it. Cop asks you got guys got any weed on you? Without missing a beat my friend goes. Nah, I got it in me. Almost lost it. Watching your tiny child take a shower. This comment makes me uncomfortable. Leaving a store without buying anything. Refusing a body scan at the airport. You can refuse it. As I did once just to see the process as I travel a lot for work. They just say they are going to do a pat down and ask if you want to do it in a private room or just right here in the open. I opted for in the open. The TSA guy basically gave me a full body massage including around and in front of my dick. Then swabbed his gloves and put the swab into some machine that I assume checks for explosives residue. Overall the process took an extra 5 minutes. Not worth it unless you believe those x-ray machines fry your brain. Or, I guess, if you get off to 40 year old TSA dudes rubbing you all over. Being an anti-vax parent. Should be. Watching porn for the first time. So, I've learned this great trick. When passing a police car, all you have to do is point at something as you're passing by it and they will look to see what you're pointing at. This works really well if you have a passenger. It's quite hilarious. Calling in sick, no matter what. Drinking too much alcohol. 